Alright, so this is part two, y'all. Uh, try to not screw this one up. <laughs> Too late. Uh, not attorney, not giving legal advice, okay? Anything I say or do is just opinion. Alright? You know why. Alright, educational video only. Okay? So, uh, do your own research. Never look straight forward. Always look around you. Be able to protect yourself by any means necessary. Think outside the box. Do your own research. You must read law. Alleged law. Code, statute, rules, and regulations. Oh, by the way, uh, congratulations to the people. The administrative lost some of their powers. Um, they kind of, the Supreme Court says, ah, Chevron has gotten out of hand and out of ridiculousness. And you guys are just too stupid to actually come up with the, the right, eh, uh, rights for people. Well, no, was the Supreme Court was too stupid to give them that a power. All right. Anyway, I'm, I digress. Let's go. Uh, uh, again, this is going to be uh, Debbie Street what I've talked about. Uh, uh, six videos back or so, give or take. Uh, right, he got drug along. But why did he get drunk along? And I told you why. Okay. Uh, they arrest you. Uh, oh, they, you want to hear how they dragged me? I was just going to say. So they take you. To, they take you to jail. Talk about. Give us that experience. You get arrested. They, you get uh, put in the back of the police car. They take you to the jailhouse. Explain the process. From the <laughs> car to the jailhouse and, and the whole. Well, give all. Give us that. I. I. He did. He did finally Mirandize me in the in the okay, car. The, to read my Miranda rights, I don't okay. have to say anything without my lawyer present, and anything I say can and will be used against me. Now, when the time came to go through the the, Sal, the Sally Port of the, at Silverdale is a, a, a steel gate, and you, the car the cruiser goes through it, then that gate closes, and then now it's trapped. Okay, then the other gate opens up to let you into the jail uh, arena there near the booking door. So. They said, Miss Tulis, it's time to go. Uh, time, we're here. Time to go. I said, Well, you're going to have to carry me because I'm not. I'm not going to cooperate with a false imprisonment and false arrest. <laughs> and you know what? And I made sure that it's, it's there, kind of drooping me uh, out the door. I, I, I said, Are your cameras on? And they said, Yep. Doom said they were. So now I mean to buy the cam. Yeah. Okay. Because I want it to be. I want to show how humiliating it is, and I want. I want to be humiliated in public. I want everyone to see how humiliated I am because they do this to you. They do this. Right. Why do you cooperate? Why do you cooperate with this? You need to make them carry you. Why does anybody cooperate with a false imprisonment and a false arrest? Make them carry you. I know. I know. The, you're. You're thinking. Well, they're going to charge me with resisting. Most likely they would. Right. If it was us, they would. Yeah. Well, resisting arrest requires the use of force. No one can charge you with resisting if you're just a, a, a rag doll. Okay, that's all. I'm a rag doll. And sit and think about that, right? Read your codes on that. Uh, resisting, what is it? I'm with him. I had never thought about that. He did bring that up to my attention. I was more into, I'm not going to insist in my. Uh, kidnapping, right? Because they kind of go push it in there and they can say, well, you walked in there if you challenge everything. Well, you assisted into it, uh, which means you actually agreed to be put in jail, which is stupid, y'all. I agree. But you got to change, challenge everything. You cannot go under presumptions, okay? The fact is, if you did not break any type of law and there is no victim, they kidnapped you. And they're going to get ransom off you called the bondsman. And they're violating the law while they're doing it. Texas, Code 14, 15, 16. Now I'm going to repeat this over and over and over to make this in play. All right, so in short, what are you saying? <laughs> I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Guys, you have a gorgeous looking girl and she's there naked and you really want her vagina, okay? But by the time you guys got in there and get started, Penis decided he couldn't wake up. Well, you're not resisting her. She really wants you, but you're not resisting her. 
all right? It's just not complying with you. <laughs> and it's not complying with her. <laughs> all right? It's really the same principle, okay? Just saying. So my best loafers, my best dress shoes were all scuffed up on the toes as they as my toes dragged across the pavement to the sealed door. <laughs> evidence of damage. This is evidence of damage. <laughs> hey, so they had your handcuffs and they, and they pulled you by your they, arm. And they, they're very painful. Handcuffs are torture devices. Right, of course. You know, and they were developed during the slave days. Why don't they just have Velcro? Why, why do why the handcuffs have to be so painful? And why, if the cop doesn't like you because you used an F-bomb on him and called him a name, will he make them very tight? Right. right. Why not Velcro? Right. Okay. Yeah. Why, why the torture? They, they like to torture you. Hey, so they, they love humiliating the people. So they, they dragged you from the, from the, from the uh, squad car to the jailhouse, right? And uh, so are you going to try to press charges or bring another lawsuit because of that? <laughs> if, because I'm, if I'm the cop. You are so I, naive. If I'm the cop, I'm going to say, I asked him to get out of the car. He wouldn't get out of the car. So what am I supposed to do? Leave him in the car? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say if I'm the cop. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't say, I never make any threats, okay? I never threaten anybody to do anything. Ne and never make a threat, okay? That's a very good piece of advice, but. Yeah. Always let them use their own words against them, right? What do they want you to do? They want you to actually go in there and uh, incriminate yourself. Well, you do the exact same thing. You have them incriminate themselves. Period, people. Just saying. All right, so this is part two. Decent We the People News. Bye, y'all.